How's it going everybody? This is Zach with Premier RV. We're going to do a quick walk around tour of an Intec Soul Horizon today. Let's go. All right, folks, starting off on the inside again today. Uh, we're in the shop, so I'm trying to reduce as much noise as I can. Um, but we'll start with pointing towards the front of the camper here. You've got the big three-ply automotive panoramic windshield. I know it's a mouthful, but boy, is it impressive. Uh, you've got the big U-shaped dinette right here in the nose, and um, this is actually semi-convertible where you can take that down make that into a bed, or just take that out and have a big L-shaped seat. You've got overhead um, storage here, which actually, hang on, let me do this. Here we go. Um, really actually pretty deep storage for um, the skinniness of it. It's, it's got good length, and you do have a lip here, so if you've got any boxes or something, it's not going to come bouncing out. Not that these aren't going to help as it is, but you've got that going. Soft close on your cabinets, and they will hold themselves up with that guy there. And there it goes. The stuff that you're seeing in there is what you can put across the bottom to make this into a bed. Um, you've got little accent lighting in the corners. And you do have a shade that comes down. Cool thing with this shade is this is actually malleable. So it's almost like a beaded chain across here. So you can um, tuck it behind uh, the U shape there. You got roller shades in all your other windows as well. We've got our monitor panel control system here. You've got battery disconnect. And your converter here now the converter is lithium ready if you do decide you want to put a lithium battery on there outlets usbs and an ac adapter standard microwave am fm radio uh, hdmi so you can hook that up uh, if you have something else you want to plug into that no problem and then you've got the fridge if i can get this one-handed see if i can pull it off oh man there we go um and this is going to be a gas and electric fridge single door a little bit of a freezer unit here swinging around to this side we've got our uh, airtight watertight seal on your wet bath over here the back is your queen size bed um, I'll go into a little bit more depth on a, in a sec on that guy stainless steel over mount sink nice and deep uh, and you've got one of the adjustable malleable sink covers so you can uh, roll it up if you don't want to use it, keep it all the way on there, and it is solid, so you could even put a little bit of weight. I mean, I can, I can, I can shove down pretty good, um, and the rubber, rubber edging is gonna keep it in place. Two burner cooktop with a stained glass, uh, blackout glass counter. It's a little dirty, sorry about that. Um, We've got a little storage underneath here. Even our drawers are gonna be magnet catch and soft close. All of our cabinets, all of our drawers, and the magnet is pretty strong. You actually have to yank it pretty good to get those loose, which is awesome. Um, TV is here. There is a swivel mount or an arm that you can come out and angle it this way. If you're sitting in the front, you can still watch TV, no problem. Speakers above. They got a nice little clock just inlaid in there, so it's out of the way. Always keep an eye on the time, and it can be removed if you need to play, replace the batteries or anything. Um, end table shelving here, USB and outlets on this side, and that upper plate is actually going to be, let's see, that's going to be a, a secondary bedroom light switch. More overhead storage here, and you've got a little flip down hanger. That comes out if you need to hang any shirts or anything. Pinch and push, back up it goes. You've got a big mirror on the door, so you've got a mirror while you're in there. Uh, you've got a storage kind of bag rack setup um, that is completely waterproof. You're not gonna have any issues, and it can be removed if you don't want it. Places to hang stuff, towels if you need it, a waterproof uh, toilet paper holder, adjustable shower the whole nine yards there porcelain stool as well and really awesome led um trim lighting i i want to call it a halo light but it's not a circle so it's kind of hard to do um 12 volt fan up here as well 
I'm going to pause it real quick and we will resume on the outside. All right, back outside now. We're going to do a quick walk around and go through everything. You've got your three ply automotive windshield on the front here. You've got LP tanks inside that compartment there. There's just two pins, one on each side. Those come off. The whole Intec face there just comes off. We've got a storage rack on the front as well. Nice thing with this guy is they've got this reinforced plate right here um, that you can mount your weight distribution hitch brackets to. Uh, we found in practice that the equalizer actually fits the best. Um, it fits basically dead center in between these. And then we can kind of clean this out a little bit just so that it mounts in there um, as it should. Electric tongue jack in the front as well. Another thing we'll notice is these little snaps. I'll show you here in just a second, but that's for a uh, front windshield cover, more like a bug screen, a little bit of a rock guard, but obviously anything too big is still going to, um, you know, damage it. Nice thing is, since it's an automotive windshield, it's not going to shatter. It's going to spider web, crack, um, and at least stay in one piece. We've also got battery vent here, this little black uh, port is for side mounted solar if you've got briefcase solar panels or little tripod ones you can use that the two white uh, exterior vents are going to be for your fridge and the silver is for your furnace you've got a sewer hose tube storage here as well as your dump station right next to it so super convenient with that we have the off-road tires which are going to give you an extra three inches of clearance. Here's where your shore power hooks up and cable hookups here. Water inlets, fresh tank, and city fill. And the exterior water heater um, access. So one thing to note on this is it does have an anode rod. So that's something that you're going to want to have removed. Anytime you're not using your water heater, after you relieve the pressure with this little valve here, um, that way you don't have any water sitting there just stinking in the tank. Rear storage back here, that cover is actually going to be that windshield cover that I had mentioned. Uh, and then we've got a little box with some extra goodies in it. On the back, uh, LED lights, license plate holder, uh, there is an aluminum tube bumper as well. And we've got backup camera prep for a Magnadyne backup camera. Coming around to the most fun part of the outside is our outside kitchen. We've got a griddle style cooktop, kind of like a Blackstone storage right here if you wanted to put some utensils in below. And you've got a Dometic 12 volt cooler that also doubles as a freezer. It can get down to 32 degrees. Another nice feature is they're gonna put their outside spray port right here next to your outside kitchen. So you don't have to worry about having to snake a hose all the way around rinse off dishes, rinse off the kids, whatever you need to do. We've got a Thule awning on this guy as well. That's a power uh, retract and extend, but when that one is out, since it is a straight awning, you are gonna have a, little, a couple of braces on each end um, to, uh, to keep that up a little bit higher. With how it comes out, it angles down just a little bit. But that pretty much is gonna do it for our outside here. Um, Again, this is Zach with Premier RV. We're out here in Bluegrass, Iowa. I'm going to have all the information on this unit in the description as well as info to get a hold of me if you've got questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and keep in touch for more fun stuff.